Hello, welcome to Bruce Springsteen Guitar Lessons. Today's lesson is going to be the single LP 1979 version of Stolen Car from the Ties That Bind River Collection. Hope you enjoy the video.
Hello, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that walkthrough. So now what we're gonna do is go through all the individual parts. Okay, so this song's in the key of G major. Tempo's quite a slow one, about 90 BPM, give or take. Okay, so let's take a look at the chords first. We've got G major. Okay, you can play that with your first, second, and third fingers. First finger, second fret uh, A, middle finger, third fret low E, third finger high E, or kind of more traditional Bruce way of second and third and fourth fingers. Okay, uh, C major, standard C major chord. Third finger, third fret A, middle finger, second fret D, first finger, first fret B, strum from the A string, D major, first finger, second fret G, middle finger, second fret high E, third finger, middle finger, third fret B, E minor, middle finger, second fret A, third finger, second fret D, okay, and then we've got a B minor, uh, bar the second fret from the A string, and then third finger, fourth fret D, little finger, fourth fret G, middle finger, fourth fret B, and then you've got an F chord, slightly outside the key this one, very clever. Third finger, third fret A, little finger, third fret D, middle finger, second fret G, uh, first finger, barring the B and the E string. So technically an F over C, which is basically a stripped down version of the full bar chord, which Bruce often likes to use. Uh, but the song structure, which I'll put up on the screen now, just refer to it as an F to keep it simple. So it's worth mentioning that this, this acoustic is almost like I've made a kind of a simplified sort of backing guitar strumming for this song. So you get really get into use, uh, it's sort of almost like an easier version of this song. On, on the actual track, the, a lot of the guitar you can hear is a kind of a 12 string guitar. So I have tapped that out. Um, again, it, I think it's, it, it kind of warrants this kind of backing guitar. You can't really hear much strumming on the, on the record. Um, but yeah, so I just think, it, you know, if you wanted a nice, easier kind of version of playing this song, and that's what we're going to go through today. Um, if you want to really go into detail and use the 12 string version, I have tabbed that out. So if you get the tabs from either the JS Music School um, website or using codes via Subscribestar on that JS Music School website, you'll get both the acoustic strumming, a simpler version, in standard tuning and also the 12 string version. I haven't got a 12 string as well, so I kind of have to mimic it. And I think that 12 string is in capo th fret three, I think so anyway, because it's got some really interesting chord voicings. So obviously check out the tab if you want to get really close to that uh, original. Again, you can hear all that on the backing tracks. They're also available on the website. Cool, um, and then we've also got a G over A, I think. Um, and it's kind of uh, the end of the sixth verse, it's kind of a little build up. Again, it's probably more so on the bass and the piano. Um, but again, if you want to mimic this on the guitar, you've got the G. Kind of a G. For this G, I'll probably block out the A string and just do it with the third and fourth. Um, and they've got G over A, which is basically strumming from the A string, just having your little finger there. Uh, and the middle finger strum from the A string. So it's got this which is what the bass is doing as well. So there are all the chords. Okay, so again, this uh, simplifies strumming. Again, if you really want the really detailed picking, which does vary up quite a lot, check out the tab. Again, you can be able to hear this on, on the walkthrough, that other guitar, again, all the layers. So there's, there's, um, yeah, this will work really well if you just want a simple strumming version of the song. Okay, cool. Um, I, I think it works well and complements the rest of the parts anyway. So what we've got, again, that classic down, down, up, miss, up, down, up pattern. One quarter note, six eighths notes, but one of them's tied on the start beat three. So you've got that one, two, and three, and four, and down, down, up, miss, up, down, up, okay? Again, it's all over the Bruce catalog and millions of other artists as well. So basically what happens is in terms of the structure, you've got the intro, which is just the piano, okay? And you've got the first verse, which is a piano as well. Uh, again, the chords going there are G, C, G, D, and G. Again, I've aimed to mimic that little bit of piano there just to save me twiddling my thumbs at the start of the video. I'm not Roy, so I've done my kind of own simplified version there. Okay, so the intro in the first verse, the intro is just G, C, G, D, G in terms of the piano chords there. And the same again for the first verse, uh, just to do two rounds of that four bar phrase. Uh, same with the first chorus, um, the chord progression, again, it's just in with a piano. First chorus, you've just got C, G, D, G twice, okay? So then the rest of the band comes in on the second verse, you've got G, same chord progression, C, and then D, okay, nice and simple, and they do that one more round, okay? Uh, and then the second chorus, you've got the same chords as in the first chorus, but obviously with a full band, so C, G, then D, G, 
sheet, you do that twice. Cool, the medal eight is slightly different here. Um, and again, in the, in the song structure, only chords in brackets means there's more than one chord in that particular bar. Uh, and obviously check the tab out for the really accurate, uh, the strumming, etc. Again, if you want to do the acoustic or the picking. Um, a chord of the, pretty much the same, slightly different with the capo and that 12 string. I think there's kind of an ASUS 2 and things like that there to really make it sort of, sort of ping out there on the record. So what we've got here, we've got a whole bar of D in the middle A, and a split bar of C to E minor. So for this strumming pattern, it's a classic split bar strumming pattern. One, two, and three, four, and so that's down, down, up, down, down, up. We'll do the same strumming for C and D. One, two, and three, four, and, and a whole bar of G. Then B minor, E minor, and F, which is very clever, out, slightly outside the key. It works really well. This next chord, C, and then D. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah, the, the middle eight, um, you're just going to do one strum on the C, uh, and you don't really need, the piano is doing the D chord that you can see in the song structure. So just show you that again, so D, middle eight, C, E minor, C, D, G, B minor, E minor, F, and then one, two, three, Four, and then another bar of rest where the piano kind of does this D little melody. Cool, okay, and then you've got this, um, I think it's a harpsichord chord uh, that, you can, uh, that I did on the backing track. Again, not quite the same as what's on the record, but wanted to get it as close as I can. So yes, yeah, so this harpsichord chord really pings out on the record on the third and the fourth verse, so definitely check that out. So basically the third verse is the same as the second verse. Okay, and then it goes straight into another verse. So the fourth verse, again, you're starting off Pretty much the same. G, C, then D, then G, and then G, C, then D, and then one, two, and three, two, three, four, one, two. So you see there, uh, it kind of started to get quieter with that bar of two, four. So that last line of the fourth verse, you've got G, carrying on as normal. C, then D, and C, down, down, up, it's bar of two, four, one, two, and then let the G ring out, two, three, four, bar of rest, give or take, and then Bruce, again, it's slightly higher piano there on the fifth verse with the, um, the kind of accordion, really lush accordion here on the record. So that's the fifth verse. Uh, so the fifth verse, again, same structure as the other verses, but it's just piano, so there's no guitar in this bit. And you want to come back in on the, the sixth verse, that's the full band. Okay, so here you've got G, then pretty much the same as before. C, D, then G, then G, C, then D. Okay, again, it's kind of this little run going into the, um, the third chorus, and this is what it sounds roughly like, down, down, up. Like that is mainly the bass and piano, I think. So you've got the G, down, down, up, up, down. So that first upstroke, uh, go to the G over A. So one, two, and three. That's a tie there, and start beat three. And another upstroke on the G over A, and put your middle finger down. It kind of mimics what's going on with the bass and the guitar. So down, down, up, up, down. Again, as this is, uh, the reason I've kind of arranged it like this is as this is kind of a very piano heavy song, you know, this is how I would play this if I was playing that on this on my own at an open mic night. Yeah. Um, so the, the, the picking pattern wouldn't work quite as well. Obviously, it works in context of the whole song. Works brilliantly with the piano. But this is a sort of you know, if you want to, do, this is more of an arrangement for a sort of solo acoustic. Uh, but again, if you're doing this in a you know a Bruce tribute act, definitely check out the twelve string version of the tap. So that's the end of the sixth verse. You just got that last bar there that's slightly different. Okay, and then you've got the third chorus, which is basically the same as the second chorus. You've got the C, G, D, then G. You do that twice, and then there's just an extra bar of D at the end. So nobody notices me when I drive by. I think that's the lyric. Uh, on that extra D on the third chorus. Cool. Uh, and then again, the outro, again, like a lot of songs do, fades out on record. You've just got the standard verse chords, G, 
C, D, G with the strumming pan. You do that four bar phrase four times, again, it does fade out on the record, then just end on a G. Okay, it's a nice and simple um, song, the way I've done it here. But again, if you want the really intricate picking of the 12 string, uh, which just, just sounds awesome, then yeah, obviously uh, that's a capo for a three, I think. Check out the tab so you can either get it via getting monthly code sent up, sent out uh, on the 7th of the month via Subscribestar, as well as lots of other exclusive content on Subscribestar, like uh, guitar solo videos, uh, videos that are just on Subscribestar, and obviously get more bang for your buck with uh, code sent out, so backing tracks and guitar profiles or PDFs. So all these tabs are available in guitar pro format, which is, um, which is what I recommend because it's, uh, it's fairly an expensive program, but phenomenal as a practice tool. Uh, and any PDFs are just exported out of Guitar Pro. So these you can be found on the website. So again, you get all the parts. So this song, you get um, both the 12 string and that acoustic arrangement I've done for it as well. Um, really hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications if you haven't already. Any comments or suggestions, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching. See you next time. If you'd like to get guitar profiles, tab PDFs, backing tracks from any of these tutorials, head over to either the Subscribestar page or my website, jsmusicschool.co.uk. Remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications. Thanks very much. See you on the next one.